I'm a retired school administrator. I spent my career in Pasco County. Upon retirement and thinking, where was our passion? Where is our ministry? We thought, why not look for a school that had a lot of needs? And Sulphur Springs, it was then Sulphur Springs Elementary, certainly had a lot of needs, and we love it. We started off, I mean, we started off doing whatever they needed. My first job there was helping them sort or uh, shell books. It's, a, it's just great with the kids and no expectations from the kids. If you spend time with them there, they just love it. We're there to be a presence. We have found that in the low-income schools, such as Sly Magnet um, and Sulphur Springs K-8, that the doors have been wide open to us as a church. We kicked off our volunteer tutoring program Two weeks ago, we now are up to nine volunteers, and what that looks like is getting an adult in front of children, direct yeah. impact. And now we have, uh, for this tutoring, I'm oddly enough, I'm doing math, something that uh, <laughs> I haven't done, fourth grade math since I was four in fourth grade, and that was a few years ago. Sitting with the child, redirecting him, bring his attention back into, uh, into the book, into the classroom, and then trying to help them through things. They crave the attention and they crave the support that we give them. And as a church, we're doing a, a several things. The All Pro Dads, Moms of Minors, which is a version for the young ladies, the girls and their families. Um, just about any school-wide event that happens, we're there. And just again, like Hank was saying, just being that presence of Christ mm. on site, they know where we're from. We're building relationships, not just with the children, but with, this, with the teachers with the staff, with the parents, and even with these other organizations that are involved. The teachers have learned our hearts and they have gotten to know us and several have visited Idlewild mm -hmm. at the oh, Springs. Yeah. I'm confident we're having an impact on the school, on the teachers, and they see us regularly coming in and growing in numbers. They know there's a love for the school, a love for the families. We're seeing changes in the people that are being particip that are participating in this a glow that you would not believe. Anyone from any walk of life can participate in the school's ministry. It's children, it's making those relationships. It's something that anyone can do. I, I was not a teacher. I will tell you that my life, I have 33 years in the Marine Corps, never had children of my own, little ones. Uh, so I have, uh, I have not had that experience of, of teaching a child. I realized all they're doing is sharing the knowledge with the children but they're loving the children. I go back to that every time, loving the children. And it is so simple. You can do this. Sitting in the, you know, in the classroom is is a little scary the first day. I'm not gonna lie to you. But you get over that. You realize, first of all, you realize that, that we can do this. We have God's help and we can do this. You know, the Bible is a sacred story of God working in the life of all people, all of humanity. Well, God writes his own sacred story in our lives, and he prepares us. He will equip us to do what we need to do eventually. We might not know everything, but that's where faith comes in, is stepping out. And if I think just stepping out in faith and doing this with children, it, it helps us grow. It gives us the blessing of being able to work with them, and it helps the children beyond measure. <laughs>